In this video, I will consider one example on Laplace transform. Find i of t for t greater than or equal to 0 for the network shown below using Laplace transform equation. Here, this is the given circuit. So, here R and L are connected in series. So, this is RL series circuit. Current I of T is flowing in the circuit and applied voltage is V. Here, we have a switch. Right now, switch is open at T equal to 0. Switch will be closed. So, when switch is open, current in the circuit is 0. That is, I of T is equal to 0 for T less than 0. It means that I of 0 minus is 0 amps. So, it is said that for t greater than or equal to 0, we have to find i of t. So, at t equal to 0, switch will be closed. So, let me close the switch. Now, assume that switch is closed. Now, current will start flowing in the circuit. Now, let me apply KVL to this circuit. So, I can write V is equal to apply KVL. V is equal to V out i of t into r plus voltage across inductor is l d i of t by dt. So, we suppose to calculate i of t. So, for e easy simplification, I will go for Laplace transform that is apply Laplace transform. So, Laplace transform of constant is v by s. Laplace transform of i of t is i of s this r is constant is kept as it is plus so l is constant laplace transform of differentiation that is s i of s minus i of 0 so here i of 0 is current in the circuit at t equal to 0 at t equal to 0 current in the circuit is 0 that is i of 0 minus so i can write v by s is equal to i of s into r plus L S I of S. This value is 0 or I can write P by S is equal to I will take I of S common we have R plus L S I of S is equal to we have V by S divided by R plus L S R plus L S r plus ls this equation further i will write it as v by s here i will represent this term as l in bracket r by l plus s which is same as this term further i can represent it as that is i of s is equal to v by l divided by s in bracket s plus r by l so this i will simplify using partial fraction method so it will it can be represented as a by s plus b divided by s plus r by l or let me simplify this further or i can write v by l divided by s in bracket s plus r by l is equal to a into s plus r by l plus b into s divided by s in bracket s plus r by l. Now here comparing LHS and RHS I can write v by l is equal to a in bracket s plus r by l plus b s. So now let us calculate the constant A and B. So let me substitute S equal to minus R by L. That is, let me call it as equation 1. Substitute, put S equal to minus R by L in equation 1. So that I can write LHS will be P by L is equal to, here S is minus R by L. So A in bracket minus r by l plus r by l and here we have bs plus b into we have minus r by l this term will become zero i can write p by l is equal to minus b into r by l so therefore b is equal to minus v by r 
so now to calculate value a we should substitute s equal to 0 that is put s equal to 0 in equation 1 so that I can write v by l is equal to a in bracket so this is 0 plus r by l plus 0 or I can write v by l is equal to a into r by l or we can write a is equal to v by r so therefore now I can write equation i of s as so I can write i of s is equal to we have a by s a is v by r divided by s plus b divided by s plus rl b is minus v by r divided by we have s plus r by l s plus r by l or here v by r i will take constant outside therefore i can write i of s is equal to v by r in bracket we can write 1 over s minus 1 upon we have s plus r by l s plus r by l so now to cal to find i of t you have to take inverse laplace transform that is taking inverse Laplace transform I can write inverse Laplace transform of i of s is we have i of t is equal to this v by r is constant kept as it is inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s is 1 minus so here inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus a is e power minus a t so here it will be a is nothing but r by l e power minus r by l into t so this is the current i of t for the given circuit thank you for watching